It's the only, only one I've ever been to that actually has power and water. Howdy YouTube, welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate y'all stopping by on my on my Thursday video. If this is your first visit, remember to click on the subscribe button down there and hit that bell as well. You never know what's gonna show up here on the Dude RV. Uh, the last couple weekends, we saw video that I shot from a Corps of Engineer property, Waxahachie Creek Park on Bardwell Lake. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know I don't backtrack. Uh, it, I haven't been back to the same campground twice in what, about six years now. But I, I had to backtrack just a little bit. Uh, this past yesterday, I was camping at Highview Park on Bardwell Lake. And one of the park hosts brought it to my attention that there was a cleanup party last weekend and it's September 27th, so we're at the end of September. Last weekend, apparently there were a lot of Corps of Engineer people that came to Waxahachie Creek Park and they, they did some cleanup. So I felt that I, 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 it was, I needed to come back and do a follow-up video to say thank you and, and to, to share with y'all what, what their hard work has done. So I am in site number 14. This, this is the exact same place that I was camping. And of course you see I'm on Little Red. I'm not camping here. I'm actually headed, headed back to the house. But you gotta see this. Uh, I, don't, I don't have the, the FPV rig and this is not gonna be an FPV tour. Uh, I'm just gonna show you some of the highlights. Check this out. Look at what they've done. Isn't that incredible? I mean, this was just a wall of poison ivy when I was here last time. And now it's an open meadow. How cool is that? All right, let's go see the rest of the, of the hard work that they have done. That this loop may, uh, may not be ever re be reopened and it may in fact become something else entirely for historical reasons. I don't know the specific details though. Now this park does close for the season in the, at the end of September. So you'll have to come back out, have to come out here next summer or in the spring when they open it back up. Now, apparently all this is gonna get shredded. And this 30 amp loop is in the process of being reconstructed. I'm really excited about what they're doing here. So they've taken out all the, the tables, the fire rings, and I, if I understand correctly, if I understand correctly, they're gonna be putting in brand new stuff. When I was here last, one of the most, one of the places that made me the saddest was down here. This is the day use area and it was actually closed off and it is now reopened. A great place to go fishing right there. And this was closed off because there were so many fallen trees. I 
Now granted, they, they still have some mowing to do, but now you can actually come out here and enjoy this beautiful grove of trees. I mean, the big hardwood pecans and oaks. There's not as many as there once was, but still. Down here, this was totally inaccessible because it was just so grown up. All right, we'll get over here and talk a little more about Waxahachie Creek Park. In my video, I failed to mention there's a new shower facility here, the equestrian loop is up on the hill, and I and I lost that f footage. But the equestrian loop here at Waxahachie Creek Park, I really couldn't leave a second time with that coming over here and shooting video of this equestrian loop. I don't want you to just have to take my word. Power and water, paddocks. And more paddocks, hitching post. All right, now you've seen it. Trail right over here. Now, there's a gate closed on it right now, and I don't have I don't have any story behind. I don't know what the story is there, uh, but it if this part this work that they're doing out here is any indication. I bet they clean up that trail as well. Now the boat ramp, there's two boat ramps. This boat ramp is silted in because there's a creek channel right here. And that's not deep enough for you to launch your boat unless it's a kayak. So next summer, you need to plan on coming to Waxahachie Creek Park. Now I don't know if it's just a coincidence that this big cleanup party happened last weekend, the, the weekend after I posted my video. I don't know. But somebody has finally taken action and cleaned it up. So from here, I'm gonna cut to the map and show you where we're going next. Cause I've, I've got a, a four park tour to share with you. And of course, you're gonna see several weeks down the road, you'll see the third campground here on Bardwell Lake. But we gotta go someplace first. And I'm gonna show you on the, on the big Texas map with the push pins where we're headed. Stay tuned, here we go. And here we are in the map room. And there's the map. So if you're new to the channel, I've been documenting all of the parks that we've camped at in the state of Texas on this board since I started the YouTube channel. All of the red ones are state parks that we've been to. All of the green ones are state parks we have yet to visit. And then the blue ones are Corps of Engineer campgrounds that we've been to. I still need to add a couple up here for uh, Pat Mays and we're gonna be adding another one with this upcoming journey so we decided to spend Labor Day weekend 2020 at the beach down here on Mustang Island State Park and I had mapped a journey with this being a waypoint visit this park this being a waypoint or actually we're going to do two nights two nights two nights 
and then we'd spend one night up here at Belton Lake. But we got diverted because Texas Parks and Wildlife State Parks Department decided to close the beach due to COVID-19. So we had to pivot and instead of going to Mustang Island, we had decided to go to Goliad State Park. So the next three parks that we'll be seeing video from will be Choke Canyon, Goliad, Lake Corpus Christi, and West Cliff Park on Belton Lake. And then following that, I did a one night stay at High View on Bardwell Lake. Actually, it'd be right here. So I need to add another pin for Bardwell. Also, man, I got to get the pin in. I appreciate y'all stopping by. And if you get an opportunity next summer, go pay a visit to Waxahachie Creek Park because it really looks, really looks like they're going to clean that up and make a really nice park out of it once again. For those of, of you who have been following along, I cannot say it enough. Thank you. I'm so very honored. We just passed 12,000 subscribers over the Labor Day holiday. Thank you. With that being said, y'all come back now, you hear?